discuss today what is cost accumulation system so first we'll discuss what is a cost meanings of accumulation means gather that how the companies accumulates the cost cost is divided into different components in costing terms cost is always three things one is direct material direct labor and the overheads for example if you see any product like this led it has material that is called direct material and it, ha it do have someone who fix it he charge to the company this is labor and of course for making this possible we need a warehouse we need production facilities we need supervisors we need set up legal cost company that is classified as overheads we'll discuss how to do job order costing process costing activity based costing and life cycle costing whatever process you have to do like whatever cost method you use it should have only three items dm dl and overheads and how to allocate how to accumulate this is the process we have to learn but in terms of costing cost is always direct material direct labor and overheads so many product of a single product you have to produce like oil is the best example that you have to fetch oil it's similar to the next one one of the product is impossible to differentiate from the other like a petrol like a diesel an identical nature of each unit of product enables assigning the same average cost means we know that this is every day we fetch uh, we drill like you know 100000 barrel it cost us this one. so it's the same every day every month every year what is the example example is paper manufacturing and cola mixing and bottling beverages then job order costing is many different products are produced each period products are manufactured to order and the unique nature of each order requires tracing or allocating cost to each job means for each order we have to make a job order sheet is a separate job. Which define the material, labor, and overheads. What is the example? Is Boeing every Qatar Airways Boeings are different from Emirates. Emirates are different from other airlines. And when you make any plaza, any tower, any home, this is also job order. Or Walt Disney Studios movie. Every movie is different. Cost is three components. We have material, we have labor, and we have overheads. When you add them together, it becomes manufacturing cost first of all we receive a customer at our shop or a call or whatever then we lot of machines are working so we tell them look we are working you know on this this uh, work once this will finish it will give you that i will show you a typical cost accounting this is a job cost sheet this is also called job order sheet any name you can give so it has three sections like as i told you dm direct material dl is direct labor and the overheads so first of all what you have to do is you have to request material requisition form what is that this will be issued from production department to the warehouse that we have this job and it will tell them like this is the requisition number the job number that this job against that we need this much of material like in feet quantity and generally they are not concerned with the units in the reality because production guys has nothing to do with the units but because he want to tell us the job order costing so if he will not tell us the cost we cannot reach to uh, you know direct material cost right that's why he put it normally you can exclude it from your real life then obviously for this specific job we know okay this is the material but also we need to have labor who can work on that so for that to control labor we use time tickets what it works like this is the ticket this is the employee name date and this is the station station means in a production we have different machines 
so we call them a station. So this is again in your book, this is made in this way. The raw material will be in work in progress and wages, wages means direct labor that will be put into and manufacturing overheads will be put here. So once it will be finished, you will fin transfer it to the finished goods. From finished goods, it will be transferred to the cost of goods sold. All CMAs, all costing are just to calculate the accurate cost of goods sold. So that we started from naturally DM, DL and uh, overheads. It becomes manufacturing cost then it goes in work in progress. From work in progress it goes to the finished goods and from finished goods we transfer it to the cost of goods. There are two types of spoilage in our, car, in our business. One is normal spoilage, one is abnormal spoilage. Let's talk about process costing. Why we call it the process? Because it, take the example of oil first, the drilling department, then fetching department, then you will see some drums into, then storing department, then purifying. So it has a lot of process. Generally 30 to 40 process to make it, use it. So each process is the process one will become the base for the process two. So you can see this is material we put in one department and we put the labor into, right? And which will come, become the source for direct material department to go to uh, cost of food. So whatever they have DMD and overhead, they will put into work in progress. What is work in process or progress? That is the work continued. The work is continued. So that is the example and uh, once we, this is factory overheads. So once it will be finished as like manufacturing cost, it will be transferred out and this will be transferred in for the next time. In accounting term, this is carried forward and brought forward, right? This is all. So okay, once you have uh, done with the product, it will transfer to the finished goods and from finished goods it will be transferred to the cost of goods. You know, we, everyone want to see that what is our value, like value of inventory. Inventory has three shapes, raw material, finished goods mm -hmm. and work in progress. Raw material <coughs> easily we can value, finished goods easily we can value, but work in progress is half finished, semi finished. Some products are 90% complete, some are 30% complete, so we have to do something like that, right? So we'll calculate the EUP, equivalent unit of production. There are two methods. One is first in, first out. Uh, accounting ledgers, they have always three things. One is a brought down, which is coming from last year's carried down. During the year we started some unit and we completed. And in the last we have some leftover, that is the carry down. So these three things we should have, we said beginning, started and completed and the remaining inventory that is in the carry down. A CMA asks you to don't calculate for DL separate, don't calculate for overhead separate. Calculate a conversion cost. Conversion cost is to convert the shape into a new shape, right, conversion. So conversion cost is DL plus overheads. So what we are doing is we are calculating the equivalent unit of production means how much of half is equal to the finished. I will tell you how it works. In traditional costing what we do is predetermined overhead rate. But here we don't do. We, what we do is we charge for the cost of capacity they used. And these are the steps. Identify and define activities and activity cost pools. Trace cost to activities and cost objectives. Assign cost to activity cost pools. Assign all cost of resources that are consumed by taking and processing customer orders. This is a very good cause and effect relation. And there's a diagram, typical diagram, these are the resources every company has, like you have machines, you have computers, you have materials. Then you identify the drivers, like what cause activity, then you define activity pools, 
and then what are the drivers again and then you allocate to the right products life cycle costing is an approach to estimate a budget budgeted uh, 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 products revenue and expense over its entire sale life so uh, beginning with research and development proceeding through the introduction and growth stages in the maturity stage and finally into the decline stage so as i told you introduction growth uh, maturity and uh, decline these are the life cycles there are two type of cost one is upstream the other is downstream Core life cycle costing is similar to the life cycle.